Welcome to the fourth module in the IBM MQ Certificate Management tutorial for commercially signed certs. In this module we're going to go ahead and submit our certificate signing request to GoDaddy. You can see I'm already signed into my account. We select SSL certificates and there are a number of varieties here. We're going to use the basic certificate and uh, protect one website, standard SSL, there's a deluxe SSL and there's an uh, EV, which is extended validation. Uh, I'm just going to get one year here. Since this is MQ, the site lock website security is not going to do us any good. No browser will ever see this. So go ahead and place the order. Don't need the search engine visibility. Don't need domain names. Uh, round up for charity if you like. And then go ahead and check out. Now, I've already got a um, certificate on file. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've got a credit card on file um, which we're going to go ahead and pay. And once you place your order then you have an opportunity to print the receipt that comes out. And uh, it'll tell you what your account information is there. You Go ahead and print your receipt and then click on the SSL certificates button. That'll take you to your management console. And you can see I've already provisioned a certificate for the Ash Q Manager. Uh, to provision one for Birch, you click Manage, and it says that uh, little drop down said you have a certificate that was going to expire. Um, we've gone ahead and added that, and now we actually uh, refresh the screen, and we'll see that there's now a certificate on there. There we go. So it says New Certificate click manage and it brings you to the management screen and go ahead and click set up and this is where you paste in your certificate signing request now we printed this off in the last module and it's still up on our screen so we just go ahead and do a copy out of the uh, Unix server and taking a look here at the beginning and ending values uh, for that certificate um, to make sure that we get the right ones. Go ahead and paste them. Uh, whoops, didn't quite paste everything that I needed. Let's run back there and grab it again. Okay, so grab the whole certificate signing request and then paste it into this field here. And then you can see there's the uh, CSR don't worry about the line breaks, just paste it in the exactly the way that it was copied and you can see the beginning and ending values there. It is uh, completely pasted in. So uh, definitely agree to the agreement that you didn't read. Um, I actually did read it for you. Um, <laughs> I encourage you to read it yourself. Now once you submit this, there's a validation that happens and you'll see that uh, currently it's in the verification process and you'll have to keep refreshing the screen. Now I, uh, I cut about 10 minutes of wait time out of this for you. What it eventually does is it sends a, an email, it looks up your domain, and then it figures out what the uh, email of the person who registered the domain is, and it sends that person an email. It says, hey, um, someone's requesting a certificate under your domain, do you recognize this? Uh, if that person accepts the email, then uh, the domain is considered to be validated. And we see here that it has sent that email. And I use a one-in-one uh, -on -one private registration to protect my uh, information for the domain. There we go. So I've clicked the email, and now it's possible to download the certificate. So on the server type, select Other, and then click Download the zip file. Uh, go ahead and open it and then you'll see that there are two things there. One is your actual certificate and the other says GD bundle. That's the GoDaddy bundle in this case. That's all the root and intermediate signer certificates. So I'll go ahead and save these. I've mapped um, a drive under uh, D to where my virtual machine can get to them and we'll go ahead and save these certificates into that folder. So there's my folder for the certs. We'll unzip into that folder and now we're pretty much good to go. So we've submitted the certificate signing request 
and received it back from GoDaddy and we've saved it into a folder and that folder if I uh, go into the file system here uh, go into archives and then WMQ and then certs and there's our two the two ones with locks on them those are our actual um, certificates that we got back so we'll go copy those into Birch and we're done so the next module we're actually going to receive those certificates and test out the uh, the received certificates click the link and go to module 5